Last year, 40 young athletes lost their lives on the playing field. Not one more needs to die. You could be the change. We have taken this information and created the Athletes Saving Athletes program to give athletes the power of knowledge. I was running for a ground ball and an opposing player was going for the ground ball as well and we just hit and that's when it happened. So I guess my heart stopped. They started CPR, but it wasn't working, so they had to some they sent somebody to go get an AED and they brought the AED back and they shocked me with the AED and the first shock didn't work, so they had to shock me a second time. And then the second shock successfully restarted my heart. I think the last thing I remember before I just completely blacked out was my coach said, all right boys, go suit up. And after that, I don't remember anything. They put me in the shower with all this ice just surrounding me and like, you know, my coach was trying to talk to me going, Will, if you can hear me, blink. And so I blinked. And he said it again, if you can hear me, blink. I did it again. But the third time I said, Will, if you can hear me, blink. I didn't even respond. These three athletes all suffered life-threatening injuries during play. Their stories have brought together an awareness for saving the lives of athletes. Will James survived exertional heat stroke. Britton Sutfin survived sudden cardiac arrest. Tommy Mallon survived a concussion and severe neck fracture. They embody the mission of Athletes Saving Athletes. These athletes are alive today because of education and knowledge. They are the voice for those who have died. Advocates for Injured Athletes is a nonprofit founded by Tommy and his mother Beth after he suffered a broken neck in a high school lacrosse game. We have started a foundation called Advocates for Injured Athletes. The purpose of the foundation is twofold. The mission is to promote sports safety education, also raise funds to provide high schools with athletic trainers. Tommy's life was saved by his athletic trainer, Ricky Kirchhoff. Until there is a certified athletic trainer on every campus, Advocates for Injured Athletes is taking a powerful, proactive approach to sports safety. Athletes Saving Athletes has successfully launched in San Diego County. Student athlete leaders are taught life-saving skills by the foundation's team of certified athletic trainers. Athletes are trained in five specific areas, concussion, head and neck injuries, heat illness, sudden cardiac arrest, diabetes, and asthma. It's more than just a public service announcement. It's actually a, a, a major awareness campaign, if you will, and the, and the students that are exposed to it have this knowledge, can share this knowledge, pass it on. We're training first responders that then go on and talk to more people that become responders, and this increased awareness is, it makes it safer for everybody. Student athletes are nominated by their coaches and school administrators to attend this program. They have been selected as athletes capable of learning life-saving skills. It's gone pretty well. I've learned a lot, um, a lot of knowledgeable things, what to do in certain situations. I think it's a really big honor to know that coaches and people chose me to help others and it gives me like confidence that, to know that when I'm on the court that I'm a leader and that I'm able to help those if they're in need. Treatment in the ER by a physician can only do so much depending on what a first responder has done. You know, by the time uh, an injured athlete uh, or someone who uh, has suffered sudden cardiac arrest arrives to the emergency room, if an AED hasn't been deployed or CPR hasn't been performed, there's really only so much we can do. The injury may have already occurred, the horse may be out of the barn, so to speak, or it may be too late. In addition to the training of how to recognize signs and symptoms of life-threatening injuries, all athletes attending the Athletes Saving Athletes program are CPR and AED trained. We strongly believe the message has to come from athletes to other athletes. What these students know may help save someone they know. The requests are much more than we have the capacity to deliver right now. So our, our goals are continue to show how successful this is, but also to fundraise to be able to continue to provide it to as many schools as we possibly can. 
AIA wants corporate and private sponsors to know that they can have a direct line to 7.4 million high school athletes through the ASA program. We need your financial support to bring this life-saving program to every middle school and high school in the country. A life could be saved today by an athlete who has participated in our program.